What is up, dudes, and welcome to Wild Arms 5. I know we skipped one, uh... No, we didn't skip one. We played one. We skipped two, uh, three, four, XF, and headed straight towards the, uh... towards the final game in the series. <laughs> Unfortunately, the opening is not as great as the original was, but I don't think there will be anything in the history of video games that will ever reach that specific pinnacle of opening cinematics. Like, the uh, the Wild Arms 1 opening is legendary. It's fantastic. But hopefully everybody's doing well. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Welcome back. And... Uh, Artemis, Gypsy, how are y'all doing? Um, so I kind of wanted to uh, play a PS2 RPG and uh, decided, like, hey, I'm going to drop a line at Discord, see what comes of it. And I now have a stack of PS2 JRPGs that I uh, need to play on the channel, including the rest of the Wild Arms series, mind you. But I'm very excited to try this game out. I really loved the first game. I originally really had to w warm up to the game as a whole, but um, after I did, it really propelled it into being one of my favorite PS1 RPGs. It's really freaking good. But yeah, hopefully everybody has uh, had a great weekend and... Uh, I, I assume this is for, uh, that is for, uh, completion files. And before I have a stack of, uh, PS2 consoles to use, well, uh, we do have a big stack of PS2 console. Also, I looked it up, Artemos, uh, the, um... The Italian on the uh, Wild Arms 5 case is not a coincidence. The PAL version of Wild Arms 5 only got an Italian release with the uh, uh, with the 10th anniversary, um, but it, it supports English language. Uh, it says in-game Italian manual in Italian. I think the entire manual is Italian. Let me check. Hey, Molokov, how's it going? Let's see if it's actually fully in Italian. It is fully in Italian. I really hope that the in-game tutorials are any good. <laughs> One of the cool things about this game, though, is um, not many games really have this. Um, where... A couple of PS2 games have the option to switch to from 50 to 60 hertz mode. Uh, this game has a full-on NTSC overhaul. Meaning that it runs at the correct, uh, correct frequency, or correct resolution, and correct everything. Um, so that is a really, really nice... Um, little addition to it especially coming from battle territories where a lot of games are generally uh slower also let me uh actually put the no more consult manual option it it used to link okay so here's the thing i need to get back on that but for that i need a plan to uh to have like a list of manuals ready because too often i found myself either forgetting to change it or actually not having the manual available at all. And how's it going, Adrian? Well, let's get started. I'm really curious about this. Like we're going from one end to uh, one end of the series to the other, and I'm really curious to see what the what the fuck. <laughs> You can just... Tutorials can be reread by choosing the tutorial option in the system menu. Okay, thank you, game. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> I was about to say, like, if, if you're gonna... If you're gonna start the game and... Uh, and you're just gonna sit there like, Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do the tutorials when you start the game. That is not a good start of your game. <laughs> that is not a good start at all. 
Uh, okay, so we get a custom cursor memory. I think we can... Uh... Interesting. Select whether the cursor should remember its previous menu position. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think we can change that as we go along. Volume, adjust volume balance. Okay, let's get with default, vibration off, screen position default. This is pretty interesting. Um, I got a bit caught off guard by the tutorials thing, but considering like most of it is empty, I'm assuming that you unlock this as the game progresses. Like we're going to have a big arc at the start that explains the battle system and stuff. The clock is ticking, the pressure is on. GDQ is over, but the speedrun never ends. Oh, Gaia, a world divided, a world of masters and slaves, of fear, hatred, and despair. From the countryside, set out to Doesn't bring change to a de desolate it? world. I've never seen him hit anything, not once. Wait a minute, who is that? I recognize that voice. I will say this though, even if the game is not going to be as great, it already oh, won me over right. on Time the soundtrack. Of course it's Yuri Lowenthal, of course! No small fry for me today! <laughs> this time I'm going to bring home the big one! Of course it's fucking Yuri Lowenthal. Who else would it be, honestly? I think Jameson Price is in this as well. We got Patrick Seitz as well. Wendy Lee. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is good! Okay, this is the rest of the stream. Oh, you can slide. And you can jump. You can stomp as well. Yo, this is Super Mario 64 in disguise. God, I, I love this music. If a game manages to really captivate that sensation of adventure within the first five minutes just by having a theme going on in the background, that's that's a victory right there. It looks pretty good as well, like pretty detailed texture work. Oh, that is a weird menu. Uh, can we? Oh, there you go. Use the right analog stick to control the field camera. Be sure to inspect each area carefully. You may find hidden objects in unexpected places. And hey Joey, how's it going dude? This is unfair, dude. Like, this theme is so good. If this has a really, really catchy battle theme as well, that's that's gonna be hard to beat. Like, the game can do a lot of things wrong before I get <laughs> before I get upset with it. Despite everything, I'm doing pretty all right. Um, unfortunately, we're currently. Uh, 
locked down in our house due to uh, the ye old C-19. Okay, what does break do? Okay, let's see. Uh, field items, break. Uh, item menu. No. Ah, there it is. Power 220. Target enemy hex adjacent. Oh, they took nodes from XF. Interesting. Yeah, in the end, it was a matter of time, considering we both work uh, in the outside world, so... Um, I'm a bit stuffed and sore all over, um, but otherwise I'm doing pretty alright. Gypsy definitely got the brunt of it. Might, of course, change over the course of the day or tomorrow, we'll see, but... Press the X button to take a hold of a block. While holding it, use the left analog stick to push or pull the block forward or backward. Okay, so... Yeah, exactly. We would have been worse off if it wasn't for uh, the excessive amount of chemicals that we got injected into us. The markers that indicate connections between areas are called route trackers. Blue markers indicate routes that you have yet to uh, that have yet to be explored, while yellow markers indicate routes that have already been taken. Nice. Hey Steve, how's it going? The red marker indicates the route that was most recently used. Press the select button to toggle the route trackers on or off. That is super useful in a dungeon crawler. That is really handy. And press the square button to make Dean crouch down. While crouching, tilt the left analog stick to slide in any direction. And sliding can be used to break certain types of objects. Huh? A notebook? What's it doing here? I wonder whose it is. A honey bosomed maiden sleeps restlessly amidst the spring breeze, yearning for the arrival of a handsome prince in his glorious white steed. We. How. Okay. 23 minutes. Clock that. 23 minutes into the stream, and we found porn. Hey, Raccoon Citizen, how's it going? Honey Bosom? What the heck does that mean? Oh no, this must be Rebecca's poetry journal. And now I've gone and read it too. She's gonna be so upset with me. Uh, I guess I should just pretend I never saw it here. No, I couldn't do that. It's like a treasure to her, after all. I know I'd really be upset if I lost my Nightburn uh, picture. Guess I'll bring it back to her. I'm doing all right, Raccoon. Images Media, how's it going? I'm just grooving to uh, to the soundtrack. It's really freaking good. Nothing but dirt. Nothing, huh? Well, I'm not gonna give up just yet. Especially this part. The stream is going well so far. Ah, this always happens. I'll just find some I'll find something yet. Just you watch. I need to get to the uh the rest of the Wild Arms series, honestly. Ooh, nice. I get to destroy stuff and get rewarded for it. Yes, this is it, a real golem part, finally. Oh man, this is so great, the real thing feels so different. 
I wonder what part it is. The shape, the color, the shape, the weight, the feel. This has got to be special. I just know it. I can't wait to ta take it back to the village and get old man Tony to take a look at it. And if it really is the real thing, then finally. And before you just dig up Rudy and it's just rusty. Waldarm's one protagonist. <laughs> hey, Stefan, how's it going? Okay, Gela is uh, the currency. Legally, this thing galt. And just examine. I wonder what's up with this door. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't want to open no matter what I try. Oh well, this isn't what I came for anyway. Yeah. Isn't it, Dean? I feel like it is. Woo! I guess I may as well head back to the village now. I've got to get the old man to check out this new golem part, after all. <laughs> Makes me wish I could play see certain games for the first time again. I feel you on that. Luckily, my memory is, like, really weirdly selective in what it wants to remember, so every once in a while, just completely forget about a game and can play it as if it's the first time again. Usually, it happens with games that I played when I was relatively young, like around 6 to 10. I still find it really funny, though, that my entire Walled Arms collection, I, got, I have the entire series, um, but um, I think, like, the first one is a PAL copy, then the second one is NTSC, then three is PAL, then four is NTSC again, five is PAL, Alter Code F is NTSC, and XF, I think, is also PAL. Yeah, that's also something that I have pretty often, Joey. Tony, Tony! Look what I found. It's a real thing this time. I know it. Well, quite a feisty one we've got here. And just who might you be, lad? Come on, it's me, Dean. Quit joking around. Hey, Jeremy. How's it going? Are these games supposed to be played in a certain order or are they standalone? They're pretty much standalone, so it doesn't really matter. Um, there are certain bonuses you get for having a save file for certain games. I think 3 to 4 has one if you play the NTSC version. Uh, but it's not like Xenosaga where it's like 1, 2, and 3 all chain into each other. I still want to get like one Xenosaga 1 and 3 at some point, but... Three, unfortunately, is really, uh, really pricey these days. Yeah, good to see you so lively, Dean. So you went to those old ruins again, did you? How did it go this time? Great! This one's the real deal, I'm sure of it. Here, take a look. All right, all right, no need to make a fuss over it. Let's see. Oh, the uh, second ignition goes pretty hard, Joey. Look up the uh, second intro for a second ignition. Well, well. So, what do you think? I really found one this time, didn't I? Indeed, it seems you have. It's a bit damaged, but there's no question it's part of a golem. I give you my word as the world's finest golem engineer. Those ruins have been practically stripped bare, you know? I'm impressed you managed to find anything in there. Really? Awesome! Look at this kid. So full of hopes and dreams, I can't wait for to see it get crushed into oblivion. Th 
Thanks, Tony. This is exactly what I needed. Needed? What kind of mischief are you cooking up this time? Ah, uh, sorry, that's a secret. Anyway, do you know where Rebecca is? I've got something for her. Rebecca? I think I saw her over by the bridge. Great, thanks. See you later. And yeah, Into the Wilderness is probably one of the best openings to any video game ever. This theme reminds me a lot of Ocarina of Time. What was the uh, the village called? Again, with the little windmill that leads up until the Goron Mountain. Up until Death Mountain. I forgot what the village was called, but it has a similar theme. If you're looking for Rebecca, head toward the village entrance. I believe I saw her over near where the road forks. She's been running around town all day looking for something. I wonder what she's after. Dude! Yo, Shining the Holy Ark, pack it up, we found the car. Yeah, second ignition really goes like, so we have a trumpet. <laughs> Don't you think there's something fishy about this old man, Tony guy? Secret police chief. <laughs> a golem engineer living in this tiny, in tiny backwater town? It's weird, man. I've decided to form a secret police squad to investigate the old kook. I bet he's creating evil golems in his basement. My dude, this town is too small to have a basement. Listen, Dean, I like you. I'm only gonna let you be a secret police agent, too. If you see anything suspicious at all, you report it to me immediately. You got it? You seem like the best damn cop for the job. They remade the entire soundtrack for the Alter Code F remake, but they reused the old intro as they should. Damn, what was the village called? Um, I keep forgetting it. It has a it has a similar lazy uh, type theme. Kakariko Village. Is it really Kakariko Village? Yeah, Kakariko Village. On the one hand, you have like the uh, the the road that leads up to the Death Mountain, and then if you follow the river down, you head to the Zora thing. What's this? You're heading off on another adventure? For crying out loud, Dean, you sure do get around. Ah, sorry, darling. The shop's not ready to open yet. Try and hold out just a bit longer, all right? <laughs> Kokoro Village. <laughs> it's a very hardy town. Oh, hey, before you go, here, you should take this. You know what they say, adventure and danger go hand in hand. What is a Gela card? Oh, <laughs> It's a Gela card, real useful. Doubles the amount of money that monsters drop when you beat them in battle. Back in the day, when I was a drifter, I used to live for those things. In that line of work, you never know when you're gonna find yourself flat broke. Next time you run into a foe that looks like it's loaded with cash, make sure you try it. He said, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Why, hello there, friend. This is your first time, huh? Here, take a pamphlet. Press the X button to talk to a memory bird and the party's HP and MP will be fully restored. You can also save your game to a memory cart. Choose hint on the menu that appears at save points or memory birds to have Dean muse to himself about the party's current situation. His dialogue will change as the story progresses and can be used as a progress reminder when resuming a save game. Don't let pride get the better of you. Act now and save today. I'm uh, currently playing uh, Eastward off stream. And uh, the save files, uh, the save points in that game are fridges with existential crises. They'll ask you questions like if you reload your save, are you really still you? Hey, what are you doing in my field? I haven't forgotten all those times you dug up my garden, spouting all that nonsense about golem pods and such. I'm not about to let you ruin it again, you hear? Now catch your sorry ow, oh, oh, my back. 
that old man is gonna I'm gonna die before he ends that story. Dini, have you been eating well? Have you done your chores and washed your clothes? I my brain messed up that sentence and read and washed your chickens. How about the chickens? Have you been looking after the chickens? You're only 16, dear. Still just a boy. If you need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask. Me, Tony, Rebecca's parents, we're all here for you. Gosh darn kids these days. Yeah. The parrot is cocking its head and flapping its wings, almost as though yearning for something. I don't read many books, so there's plenty of room in my bookcase. <laughs> this bookcase doesn't hold any books because I can't read. And sometimes Rebecca bakes me apple pies in this oven. They usually turn out quite unique. Half the village destroyed because of an apple pie. Capo Bronco is about as remote of a town as you can find in Vilgaia. We're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. All the young folk tend to leave as soon as they get their arms. Their wild arms? At this rate, the place will be a ghost town soon. Rebecca's the only one who chose to stay after receiving her arm. Well, you did too, but that's because you don't have an arm of your own. Right? Lady, I'll have you know, I have not one but two arms. Also, I really appreciate the series just kind of accidentally stylizing the arm in the first game and the rest of the series just rolling with it. Hi there, Dean. Hmm? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm looking after the chicks. These here are the females and these one are the males. Aren't they just adorable? No, wait a second. Were these the males or... Hey, Gekizembu, how's it going? Ah, uh, Dean! Have you seen my... What are you looking for? Um, nothing. Never mind. Oh. Do you mean this? What the? My poetry journal! How did you get a hold of this? Um, you didn't. Don't tell me you... Read it. Uh, well, uh, I found it down in the ruins, and I didn't know it was yours, so, uh... Oh, uh-oh. No! Dean is dead. You read my poetry! This is so embarrassing! At uh, least try to pretend you didn't read it! How can you be so insensitive, you big jerk? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> really. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't read. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I shouldn't have gotten angry like that. I really should thank you for finding it, Dean. And I'm sorry I yelled at you. No problem. I know how important it is to you, Rebecca. It's a good thing I stumbled on it. I'm heading out now, so I'll uh, see you around. But I thought you just got back. So... Where are you off to now? I was thinking of heading over towards Celestial Peak. What for? Why go way out there? Well, I wanted to go back one more time. You know, to say goodbye. Mm. Actually, I guess I'd better tell you too. Hey, uh... would you mind coming out there with me? It's Black Rose. Um, I guess so. After all, I owe you for the journal. Sure, I'll tag along. I haven't been out that far in a while, all the way to Celestial Peak. I hope you remember the way, Dean. I can't read a book, nor can I read a map. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dean really looks like a character who's held together by hopes and dreams. We want that southern cave again. You just have to go poking around everywhere, don't you? Look, I won't forbid you from going there, but be real careful around the celestial peak here. That's the only place around here where monsters still roam. It's all the way to the west and up the river a bit. The peak is a holy place. They say that's where the goddesses used to descend from the heavens. Something awful could happen if you go screwing around over there. It's a barn. If I open the door, someone might get mad. I got barn from entry. Oh, oh, wait. God, this soundtrack, man. I really like the look of this game. Well, at least Into the Wilderness is here in spirit. That's one thing that's for sure. the good soup face that sounded neat <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been doing the ooh <laughs> face throughout this entire uh, run so far every time a new theme starts up Dean the pass here twist and turn a lot it's easy to get lost keep an eye on this dungeon viewer as we go okay press the start button while in a dungeon to activate the dungeon viewer up on the map indicates north Use L1 and R1 to switch zooms, uh, switch between map pages. Press start again to zoom in for a detailed look at your surroundings. Use the right analog stick to scroll around the map. Press circle to return to normal play. I feel like Wild Arms. Oh, hang on. Oh! I'm, I'm waiting for something. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. When no enemies are nearby, you will need to move to a different hex to attack. This can be done by selecting the move command, and then choosing a hex to move to. If no enemies exist near the target hex, select a move command again to guard. Okay, so this borrows a lot. Yeah, this borrows a lot from how uh, um, Wild Arms XF handles combat. Footwork is everything.
The battlefield is divided into the seven hexagonal regions called hexes. All actions such as standard attacks, original commands, and item usages uh, take effect on all characters in the target hex or hexes. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, to attack multiple enemies at once, skillfully force them into the same hex. Likewise, to heal multiple party members at once, gather everyone into a single hex before executing any action. That is a chonky Make shot. People are depending on me. This is going to be a very slow playthrough chat. <laughs> This is going to be a hell of a slow playthrough. So why did this game last over 140 hours? Well, you, you know, like, the victory theme is just really fucking good? Hey, let's be real. <laughs> I used to uh, drain a lot of batteries on things like the Mega Man Battle Network uh, opening theme. Hey, Nab, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? And how is your stream? Welcome on in there, everybody. My name is Gil. We're playing some Wild Arms 5. And if that sounds like your kind of thing, feel free to sit back, relax, enjoy. Ooh, can I go up here? No, I cannot. I haven't yet. I haven't caught up with Anime Expo yet outside of the figurines that you sold, uh, that you sold, that you showed me that I am now instantly sold on and my wallet is already weeping. How is your stream, Nab? You won't believe what I found today. A real golem part. Even old man Tony said so. Quiet down. We've got to be careful. They say the monsters around here have been getting stronger. Really? You were going uh, going to come out here alone without even knowing that? <sighs> well, I'm not surprised. You really are like a little kid. You can't do anything without me around. What? What about you? What about me? Oh, that is a good monster design. Dean, get back. You don't have an arm to fight with. What do you mean I don't have a arm? I got two right here. I'm not going to let you fight that thing alone. Arm or no arm, I'll do what I can. Uh, why can't you just do what I say for once, you idiot? Oh, there it is. There's the theme. For a shootout, Rebecca. Once an arm runs out of bullets, it's pretty much useless, right? Yeah. So make sure you cover me when I go. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Move. Earthly point. Escape point. Can I shoot? Yeah, I can't. Not yet. Do do do. Oh, can we talk about how hard this soundtrack has been going? What next? Ooh. The animations in this are really friggin' smooth. I like it. What 
Mm, jeez. That is a lot of damage. Uh, Earth Elemental Attack, Vortex. Oh, right, because this... Can I... let's see. Since I'm on a wind tile, I want to see what happens if... No effect. Okay. I expected a lot, not that. Miss. Nice. What next? Okay, I'm gonna have our little boy Dean take on a more supportive role. Uh, can I? You'll bury an adjacent tile. Yeah. I'm back in shape now. Yeah, I'm really liking it so far. It creates a bit more dynamicness to uh to the overall battlefield. Hey, Jimber Wolf, how's it going? Glad we scraped by on that one. level up oh we don't get like the actual stat thing for leveling up gotcha Phew, we did it i never thought we'd run into anything like that and it's all thanks to my super screw attack more like screw up attack whatever that's nothing next to my acrobatic shooting all right we're unstoppable I mean, Yuri Lowenthal is a very give-or-take kind of voice. Like, you either love it or hate it. He has a couple of roles where I really like him in. And uh, probably m the best one is uh, Hasio. That log looks like it's about to fall off the edge uh, of the cliff. Let's see if we can do something with that. I wonder if I kicked it. I like this guy's mentality. He played Radiata Stories. Uh, 2006. The PAL release was 2008. Let's try again, shall we? Oh, okay, so you can drown. And does this lead back up? I think it does. Yeah. If you don't like it, yeah. blame Discord. <laughs> I'm having a great time, so I'm not I'm not gonna take the blame here. <laughs> I'm just here to enjoy. I'm just here to enjoy the great music. Okay, so you want to divide characters as much as possible unless you're on the defensive. Never played any of them. The first one is great. It feels a bit dated at times. But it's a really great game, especially towards the latter half of it. 
Uh, oh, wait, I can, of course, I can just move into an adjacent tile. Just a second, gotta grab some water real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. I'll probably take a bit more breaks than usual, usual chat. I'm just uh, putting it out there. Are Troy Baker and Yuri the McDonald's and Burger King of voice acting? I don't know, like, my only experience with Yuri Lowenthal uh, has been kind of fine dining, but Troy Baker definitely leaves the aftertaste of a McDonald's meal. Yeah. yeah, the encounter rate in the first game, especially in the dungeons, is really high. Rebecca, do you remember that time I found this here? No, the North is Subway. I don't know, like, how much is Nolan North in these days? Because I remember him being extremely prominent in the 7th gen of gaming, but, like, what has he done since? Let's, let's look it up. Nolan North. Video games. Oh, right, he does Iron Man in, uh, in the new Avengers game. Uh, he is in God of War. Shadow of War. He's in Uncharted. Uh, he definitely slowed down a lot, but, like, from, like, 26, uh, uh, like, from 06 to, like, 2013-ish? He wasn't pretty much everything. Like every every mainstream title. Yeah, back when old man Tony brought us here for the first time. Who would be a Michelin uh, five star restaurant voice actor then? Uh, Steve Blum. Uh, yeah, Steve Blum. Um, who else? I haven't really had a voice actor that really, really blew it out of the park. Yuri Lowenthal as Hasio did, but Liam O'Brien specifically saying wafting is 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 a fine dining experience for me. I I don't know, but that man has like a very specific voice. That that sounds incredibly melodramatic and horny at the same time. That just works, and he does it in everything. It's great. I think that's the original Lazar. Yeah, that's the original Lazar. That's not o Liam O'Brien. Uh, all of the voice actors in Legacy of Kane. Yeah, what, what was Tony J? It was a uh, five-star Michelin experience. That's where it all started for me. Hey, look! There's something shiny over there. Huh? Where? I don't see anything. Right here, look. Wow. It's beautiful. <laughs> I really love that this game looked at Grandia too. And just went like, yeah, that's that's kind of how our characters need to look li like. The Haunt of Darkness. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that and Ve Victus. Ve Victus is also one of the, uh, one of those lines that will, uh, and, uh, Mobius going Raziel. 
Like with a rolling R. Feels kind of warm. Well, well, Dean. It looks like you've made a friend. A friend? You mean this bolt? That I do. This is no ordinary bolt, you know. That's a bolt from a golem. The golems are living beings, right down to their smallest part. This bolt must have been very happy to hear you say such good things about it, so it chose you as its owner. Trust me, the world's finest golem engineer knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I can feel it. It's almost like it's pulsing with warmth. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that time doesn't count. And we have been playing uh, Sunbreak on Switch, uh, and it is a fantastic time so far. I think we just reached MR3. Like, Bull has gotten so much faster in close range than it was in the uh, previous expansion. And it's great. Feels like I'm flying all over the place. So, Dean, what is it you brought me all the way here out here to say? Well, now that I've turned 16, I'm an adult, right? It's time to put faith in myself, step out into the wilderness, and prove my inner strength. I see what you did there, translation team. Yeah, I guess. Where have I heard that before? So I've decided to leave the village. I can't spend my whole uh, life like a spoiled child sitting around the village being pampered by adults. I want to go out into the wilderness on my own. You and I have been together ever since we were little, so I wanted to tell you about my decision out here, where it all began for me. You really thought this through, haven't you? It's simply nutting. How's it going? Uh, originally, the Japanese release was in 2006, but uh, the PAL version came over during the 10th anniversary, which is the version that we're playing, hence why the 2008 is in the title. It goes out into the wilderness. At least you go out listening to a spectacular theme. I feel silly th for thinking of you as a kid all this time. Here you are, all grown up and everything. You don't have to act so surprised. I mean, you spend all this time practicing your acrobatic shooting so you could get famous, right? Don't you want to go out and become a circus performer? Well, yeah, but I don't think I can just up and leave like that the way you can. There's a little bit of never-ending story in this theme right now. Yeah, so I think it's great that you were able to make up your mind like this. But I guess if uh, there is one thing I'm worried about is that you don't have an arm. But I still got a leg. I just don't think it's very realistic to head off on a journey across the wilderness without at least some kind of weapon. Now, now, I've really thought of, already thought of that. I'm gonna become a top-class golem hunter, just like Nightburn. God, the expressions are really good in this. All I have to do is head into the city and register the golem hunters guild at the golem hunters guild, and they'll give me an arm. How stupid of me to think you were actually giving serious thought to your future. Yeah, the models look amazing. They're really, really well designed. The city's not next door, you know? How do you expect to get that far without an arm? Wait, that's where I heard it. That thing about placing faith in yourself, not just a nightburn line, isn't it? Amazing, look, you've got to get grounded in reality before you can start moving forward. But I don't want to be on the ground, I want to fly. Come on, I've made it safely this far, haven't I? 
Excuses, excuses. You know the monsters in the northern cavern are way stronger than the ones here. You've barely made it this far. Out, out there, you'll just be a monster bait. All I wanted was for you to give me a nice send-off. Okay, okay, how about this? I'll take you all the way to the far end of the Celestial Peak, further than you've ever been before. In exchange, if I can do that, you have to admit my strength and take back that stuff you said about me being monster bait. And then you have to give me that nice send-off. I know you never listen to anybody once you made up your mind, but... Ah, whatever. Go ahead, take me to the far end of Celestial Peak. I suppose uh, you can do that. I can acknowledge- if you can do that, I acknowledge your strength a little. Alright, it's a deal. I'll show you just how strong I really am. Watch and learn. Did anyone play the PSP game? If so, what do you think of them? It's really good. Crossfire is also my second favorite intro in the uh, entire Wild Arms series, so that's saying quite a lot. Then again, Crossfire is basically a different version of Enter the Wilderness. The battle theme in this is unfair, though, with how good it is. Hey, Sailor Peter, how's it going? That was too easy. Mm, right. They did fix a lot of the encounter rate, though. That's... That's really nice. This theme would have been perfect if we had a little bit of a uh, a whistle in the middle of it. Like or like a trumpet. That would have really finished the theme up. But then we got the victory theme. I'll show you that I'm not shovelware. Never mind uh, what I said about the encounter rate. It's off the chain. Ooh. Bam, one dead. many characters are in the main party. I'm guessing three, like in the previous games. Oh, six one.
Okay. I'm gonna make it up the mountain. Left or right? Uh, left is enticing, but that means that there is something. Oh, there's nothing on the right. Never mind. Never mind that. Oh, you can. Wait, can you actually switch? Where we are in here. Can you actually switch the encounters on or off? Hang on. Not that I mind, it's pretty good so far. I really like how snappy the battle system feels. This is it. Psyched and ready. Especially that uh, because the cinematic camera angles usually serve a purpose in this game. You have a lot of games in the uh, on the PS2, a uh, lot of JRPGs that have swooping cameras that really don't serve any purpose but to confuse. Heck, even on the PS1, you have a couple of games like Legend of Dragoon that has a dynamic camera in the battles, but doesn't really serve any greater purpose or anything. this looks like it won't even budge okay i probably need bombs for that so that comes oh. later but if you all want um we can take a look at the rest of the series at some point as well Now I can hear Black Rose. <laughs> you can't just leave me here! Oh. Now I can hear Black Rose. Just being extremely upset with Kite. What in the world is that? It's an arm. Huh. That earthquake earlier must have been from this arm falling down. Falling down? From where? I... 
I can't believe this is happening. I guess I don't have much of a choice, though. Why does this always happen when Dean's around? <laughs> Doesn't look domesticated. Must be a wild arm. Hey, new. How's it going? <laughs> so sweet! Cool! It's a golem! A real honest-to-goodness golem! I can't believe it! This is incredible! <laughs> How foolish of me to think he'd actually grow up a little. He's no different than he ever was. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Battle systems activated. Ready, go! So big, so heavy, so shiny. Oh, this, uh, he has, I Dean has a lot of the move. same energy as that mad scientist at the end of Michigan right now. It's awesome. Are you crazy? That thing could be dangerous. Don't worry. I know quite a bit about golems, actually, and this, this here is the left arm. It's perfectly safe. Because it's not the right arm? Um, maybe I'm missing something here, but what exactly is your point? That doesn't make any sense at all. Come on, don't you get it? When you're shooting, you pull the trigger with your right hand, and then you reload with your left hand, right? As long as you're right-handed, sure. In other words, Rebecca, the left hand can't hurt us without a right hand. So this left arm here is perfectly good. You really are crazy. Quit goofing around with that thing! See, look at that. Look how dangerous a right hand can be. <laughs> Why, you? <laughs> you throwing that rock at my face only proves my point. <laughs> Uh, waifu delivery, I guess? Dean! This has been one hell of a day. Are you okay? How do you, you feel? Does anything hurt? My name's Dean, and she's Rebecca. Who are you? Johnny. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny? Johnny. That sounds like a guy's name. Is that your name? No, but it's important. I heard that name before. Wasn't one of the protagonists of three named Johnny as well? It's gone. It just vanished. Hey, Dean. What do we do about her? We should... Take her back home with us. Jeez, we she has massive later. hands. No, one of the protagonists of the earlier games is also named Johnny, I think. Wait, can I still even go in there? If we try to go back in there, the cliff will probably crumble under us. Wait, does she find a long? I don't think so. Stay calm. Psyched and ready. Oh man! 
Fucking hell, I'm thinking of Shadow Hearts. Actually done a bit more damage with this, but gotcha. how's it going, Softcore? That was too easy. Uh, Johnny Garland, the uh, protagonist from From a New World, the New York detective. He's on the case. What is that? Press the X button to examine uh, the party HP. Your sword or dark and uh, inhabitant is threatening the party. Yes. Unfortunately, it's a Japan studio Here we go. thing. That looks like something straight out of SMD. I am very excited for Colonel 1 and 2. We're going to interrupt this. Uh, that was a pretty fun battle. Uh, we're going to interrupt this playthrough for that. What does a lucky card do? Uh, items. Devil's XP earned from a battle. Target all allies. Okay. All that might be useful if you're in a boss fight. Rank up. Hey, Hope. How's it going? And thank you so much for the 14 months of support. Really freaking appreciate it, dude. Can I get some Kevin's and Richards in chat? How are you doing, buddy? Okay, so did that. Uh, did not break the stones. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Probably have to head back to the village then. All right, it's 4th of July, isn't it? I'm kind of curious to see whether or not we're going to get some spells that allow us to uh, break like the one hex rule. I can't lose. People are depending Doing on lots of monster hunting. We're, uh, we're in the same boat. Pretty much whenever we're in, uh, I'm not streaming, we're hunting some monsters or playing Arkham Horror. 
both me and Gypsy got really hooked on a uh, board game, uh, like a living card game. And also Geki Zimbu, yeah, the good old ancient alchemy, alchemical terms. It just translates to Black Sun, for those wondering. But I, uh, in accordance to TOS, I'm not allowed to pronounce that. Hey, Sacrodosh, how's it going? really gotten the hang of like the field things does I wonder if it amplifies if the target is on the field or if uh, you are standing on it that's some pretty decent experience I can't wait for Dean to get his arm though I'm really curious because that sounds like it's something that will unlock something uh, like mechanically maybe the spells or the originals that the tutorial mentioned also, if you guys can do me a massive favor, like a real big one here, you see that name, Hope, in chat? From uh, twitch.tv forward slash hope. Go follow him. He's a very comfy dude, good friend of the stream, and good vibes. Vorpalade! What are you playing uh, Monster Hunter on? Oh. Ah. Okay, I'm closing that curtain. The outside world is, uh... It's bringing me nothing but pain today. So let's take care of the pill bug first, because I can uh, uh, take that out. What are you playing? What is your uh, weapon in uh, Rise? What next? I need to start digging for new shovel jokes. Okay. I mean, yeah. Ah, oh, nice hammer. We rolled right over him. is bonking. No, he had to load a little bit there. I'm going all out here. Oh. What was that? Footwork is everything. Isn't the melodious yeah. bomb just a bomb? I don't know why that got me as hard as it did. Oh, wait, you can! Wow. We rolled right over him! I really like the changes they made to uh, Bo in uh, Rise. Are you sure about that, buddy? 
I really like how the camera enhances the uh, the battle rather than just kind of randomly swoops around. It's very snappy. Also, how far are we into the Saga Frontier goal? Oh, 10% remaining. We're in the final stretch, chat. You got this. Don't forget, if you have channel points, consider contributing to the uh, Saga Frontier loot playthrough. We're in the last stretch of it. 90% raised out of uh, 1 million. Wait, can I bomb them? The answer is yes. Oh, it has to be in a straight line. Gotcha. Hey, Andron, how's it going? And Gekker, how's it going? That's 91%, baby. Only got uh, nine more percent to go. You got this, chat. If you have some channel points once again, yeah. consider contributing them yeah. to the uh, Soccer Frontier goal. I'll, I'll be a little bit more fair with the next one, though. <laughs> I'll be a little bit more fair with the next one. One million points was a bit overzealous. Only took us like half a year to get there. Stay calm. Okay. We rolled right over him. Nice. It didn't state that it was a crit, though. Now that's kind of the thing. It's just up ahead. A little further down the mountain is the village where Rebecca and I live. It's the middle of nowhere, so there's not much to see. But everyone's really nice, so don't worry. We'll help you. I guess I don't look too dependable, do I? That's because you're not. Right? Um... Oh, right. You didn't mention your name before, did you? Yes. I apologize. My name is... This is like the second boss in the game. That's kind of insane in terms of design. This one might be too much for us to handle. And hey, Ray, how's it going? What's the best Wild Arms game? Well, I only played three so far. No, I, I played... This would be the fourth game that I played. I played one XF three and now we're playing five and i really like one and nxf what are you doing come on we've got to move i understand but are those things important yes very important well i guess a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do dig an early grave uh
Scream pending. I gotta appreciate the self-awareness of this game. Not you don't did. scare me is a good Just pick of life. Trust me. <laughs> How's it going, now, Chris? That's all. I'm gonna count off on three. Grab her and run as fast as you can. Got it? Okay. Is, is Did he just suplex a monster after pogoing a shovel? Hey, you actually trusted me. Thanks, Rebecca. Your circus act worked for a change. Now let's finish what you started. With arms like these. I sure pack a punch. Overcome any wall. <laughs> Man, selfish Rebecca actually trusted me. There's no way I'm gonna <laughs> run away now. Uh, what a video game. ourselves healed we've got all the time we need that cutscene was incredible I, I I was not ready for the incredibleness of that cutscene honestly uh, let's see wind haft earth resist okay wait did the game just forget to load sound effects? Oh, there it is. Gotcha. I mean, she is mastering the Kaioken, but... I'm on a roll. Does that thing still have one HP? Oh. 
He <laughs> just holds up his hands. These arms are awesome. <laughs> uh, Dean is quickly becoming my favorite PS2 protagonist. He's such a dork. Are you okay? Uh, art, hello? Here. These are important to you, aren't they? Yes, they are. But you've been very kind to me, so I would like for you to have them. Are, are you sure? I mean, these are arms, right? They're important to me, just like you. Please take them. Uh, Twin Fenrir. Nice. Please do a victory dance. Please do a victory dance. You got this, Dean. What a glorious lad. If you're giving them to me, that means they're my arms now, right? So I'm not a kid anymore. Awesome. There is, a, there is some never-ending story going on in the music right now. We kept on getting interrupted earlier. Tell me your name. I owe you my thanks. My name is Avril. Avril, huh? Sounds a little weird, but I think it's a great name. <laughs> Good job, Dean. <laughs> Avril, thank you. I wanted my own arm so bad. I knew things would change once I got a hold of one. Now I got two. Uh, not to spoil the moment, but... Did you just call me selfish? Did I? Uh, yeah, I guess I did. So what? Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? Remember that night you were starving and you got sent to bed without dinner for playing pranks? Who was it that snuck you a meal? Or all those times the circus came, who always gave you her front row seat so you could get a better view? Uh, oh, now that you mention it... I'm always looking out for you, and this is what I get in return? Alright, alright, I'm sorry, really. I regret I ever said anything. Look, it'll never happen again, okay? You call that regret? Don't you run away from me. April, what are you waiting for? Come on! Tony! Tony! Well, well, what if I said, little, perhaps now is not the best time for humor. So what have you brought back this time, Dean? These. Those are Dean. Where did you find them? Aren't they cool? I got them from Avril. Avril, you say? It looks like we've got a lot to talk about. Let's head over to your house, Dean. You can tell me all about it there. I see. So she fell from the sky, cradled in the arm of a golem, you say? Quite an unusual appearance indeed. And to have lost her memory as well. Do you remember anything at all, young lady? I remember the words Johnny Appleseed, but I'm afraid I cannot recall the meaning. Other than that, just my name. Johnny Appleseed indeed, I never imagined I'd hear those words again. But perhaps this is fate. Bye bye, young lady. What do you plan to do next? I must find out who or what Johnny Appleseed is. As a flower craves sunlight, so must I seek the meaning of those words. And Tony, I'm thinking of leaving the village with Avril. We'll go through the northern cave and then... What? But Dean, this isn't your problem. Hmm. 
that golem arm that was protecting Avril. I saw it move of its own will. I want to go and find the golem it belongs to. Besides, Avril gave me these arms. I cannot just throw her out into the wilderness on her own, can I? And plus... Dean, the wilderness is far tougher than you think. Are you sure you're prepared to face it? Uh, if I don't go now, I'll know I'll never be able to go. I know it sounds cliche, but I feel like the wheels of fate are slowly starting to turn. So I have to go. Ah, yes. How could I forget? When Dean's ma once Dean's made up his mind about something, there's nothing anyone can do to change it. He just got a bowl every once in a while. And well, if she is in some way related to Johnny Appleseed, then perhaps this is for the best. Oh, Tony, do you know something about it? Perhaps. But I'm afraid it's not my place to tell you. So go. Go and find out yourself, Dean. I always figured you'd be leaving us someday anyway. Of course, I didn't think it would happen quite so soon. But I suppose it can be helped. This is a good opportunity for you as any, after all. And Dean, please take good care of this young lady. She may be and well hold the fate of the entire world in her hands. I understand. Leave it to me, Tony. I promise I'll do my best to protect her. Now, if you'll excuse us. Whoa, hold on there. No need to rush, boy. I got a little something I've been saving for you. What are these? A little bon voyage gift, if you will. These are looking for an owner. I've no doubt they'll come in handy someday. There's a letter to go with them. Take a look at it when you feel the time is right. Thanks, Tony. I mean it. Thanks for everything. You always listen to me ramble on about my dreams and you never laughed or anything. You even saved this stuff for when I left. Hey, Tyrande, how's it going? I'll miss talking to you, but I promise I'll protect Avril, so don't worry. And since I'm gonna be out there anyway, I'll make sure to bring back a huge golem for you. Well then, I'll be looking forward to that. Take care, Dean. Dean, wait up. Came to see me off? Thanks, Rebecca. No, you idiot. I heard you were going to leave the village, so I have decided to go too. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Have I ever lied to you? Well, no. But you tried it so hard to stop me from leaving back at Celestial Peak. What made you change your mind? I can't say it's because I don't want to be left behind. Uh, because you've got your own arms now, so we can manage even if we run into stronger monsters. And besides, I bet you have no idea what you're going to do next once you're out of the village. That's not true at all. All I gotta do is ask around about golems and Johnny Appleseed, and then go where the rumors take me. I know I can handle that much. That's what I thought. Just knowing isn't good enough. You have to plan this stuff out. You need to really think about how you're going to find this Johnny Appleseed. Have you even thought one step beyond the village? I bet you didn't even uh, bring a field viewer, did you? Now I have. If you don't circle your next destination on the field viewer, you'll get lost like you always do. And what about the Varuni that live in other towns? They're nobles, you know? You can't- can you greet them properly? Dean, I think we should let Rebecca come with us. When I look at the two of you, I get a warm, nostalgic feeling. I'd like to travel with both of you. After all, something is better than nothing, right? Uh, thanks, Avril, I think. Yeah, the more the merrier and all that. I'd be glad to have you along too, Rebecca. 
All right, let's go. This is my, no, our Independence Day. I just had to play this game on July 4th. Oh, please hit me with the title screen. And so, we departed on our journey. We left the village we grew up in to see new lands, meet new people, and feel the air and sky around us. To be honest, I'm more nervous than excited. But I guess that's just another step on the road to becoming an adult, huh? Anyway, I've decided to start a diary of our journey. I hope that one day, it'll show just how much we've grown throughout our travels. Hey, Vanguard. How's it going? Yeah, it's a really good looking video game. I like it. Oh, here we go. God, I love how stylish this opening is. Very nice. This is such a fun vibe in comparison to the depressing shit I'm playing. Well, you're playing a horror game, so that makes sense, right? Oh, here we go. Mel no, Gypsy is playing Martha's Dead. Okay, so we have three party members now. Okay, that means that I'm gonna divide. Diversify. Oh! Oh, there it is! 
There it is. Here we go. There's the theme. Okay, let's Prepare see what you got. To everything, beginning and an end. Thank you, everyone. God, the music in this is so freaking good. Jesus. I was not ready for that. You can do some scavenging, probably, for crafting later. There's an obelisk over there. I want to see what that is. Stay calm. Balloon! Infectious pain. That was too easy. Man, this is so good. Oh, we need to see April's victory screen. If I remember it. But first, I am going to take a short break. Because I really have to use the bathroom. So I'm going to be right back. I'm back. How's everybody doing? Oh, I just noticed that there's the like a dragon... On the on the right, like on the right of the continent. Okay, but what is this? Like a golem bard? Also, thank you all for being here. Really freaking appreciate it. What's over there? I'm getting that Gower Plains uh, vibe from Xenoblade. It reminds me, I need to play the definitive edition of the first game. Oh, this looks pretty. I like it. It has that similar uh, color palette to Dot Hack GU, at least the PS2 version, not the uh, remake. The remake is a lot cleaner. What the? Bingo! That was made easy. See, I still have like two spots here, one for original and one for force. What do you mean they're still alive? What next? New position. It's very easy for a game like this to kind of lose out on its pacing with the way that the grid system is structured. Like uh, Eternal, not Eternal Sonata, which was the other one, uh, the FromSoft RPG. Um, crap, what was it called? Not Eternal Sonata. Uh, Enchanted Arms has that. We have a uh, three by three grid to move around on, but the moving around causes a lot of downtime in battle. Which kind of sucks. Oh, oh, camera, calm down.
On the far side of this cave, there's a huge continent full of mountains and canyons. Old man Tony always used to talk about it. I wonder what we'll see when we get to the other side. I can't wait. The abandoned path. Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay, so cannot be selected. Can, cannot be selected. Order. Okay. Press the R1 button to have Dean ready his arms. This is called shooting mode. Press R1 again to return to normal mode. When in shooting mode, press the square button to fire a shot. Press L1 or L2 to change cartridges and who uh, and choose a different kind of shot. Press it twice in a row to make the cartridge spin. Use L1 or L2 to select the standard cartridge and press a square to fire the standard shot. Standard shots allow you to strike or break distant objects. For rapid fire, hold into the square button. I was wondering when the field skills were going to come into play. I was wondering. Usually uh, the field skills are a massive part of uh, of wild arms in and of itself. What are we dealing with? Let's take out the center one first. How much can I do in terms of damage with this? That's a wonder half. Ah, oh, the monster design in this is right on par with Shadow Hearts. That's really cool. Okay, God. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping that would hit, but no. It wasn't meant to be. I'm ready. Mm. Yeah, that should take that one out. I was about to say, where did Dean go? Wait, does he have a new animation now that he, uh... Oh, by the way, I have a question. Does, uh, Alter Code F, does it play the same as this? Because I'm actually really curious on giving that one a try as well. Wild Arms 1 was fantastic, but I have not played Alter Code F yet. More like 3. Okay, so it's more like the, the traditional turn-based combat. Rap monkey. I'll move. But I ain't gonna be able to afford that one. How much is it nowadays? actually curious because I know that Wild Arms 4 and 5 shot up in price but I don't know about Ultra Code F. One has always been sort of in a mid-range like kind of never left the 40 to 50 mark unless you got really lucky. In shooting mode Dean's arms will automatically lock onto the nearest target. The first shot will hit the object indicated by a red marker and the next shot will hit the object indicated by a blue marker. If there are multiple objects in that can be targeted, use the directional buttons to switch target between lock on. Should have just running, running gunned that little bit. 
the ran again. Yeah, last I saw it, it was like 170. I got it for around 100, I think. Wait, what? Here we go. What just happened? How can I miss that? <laughs> Stay calm. How about this? I can't lose. People are depending on me. Well, she attacked first and then did another attack, so that might be a crit. I can't, can't check the manual for this one because it's in Italian and I can't read Italian. I appreciate that I can just run and gun infinitely. What next? I'll have to look that up for the next stream. Oh, it's a perk. It's called Continuous Shot Skill Execution. Gotcha. How does that work? We haven't unlocked anything in terms of status, if I recall. But it feels good to win. A I feel battle, like it's kind it? of similar to uh, something like ROF up in from Mission Three. At least that would make sense to me. Uh, status, Rebecca. Uh, no, is there a way to? Skill, continuous shots. Randomly repeat the shoot command if bullets remain in the arm. There you go. Okay, so we don't have any force ability so far. Must have picked that up. Double critical, crit uh, doubles critical hit damage. What do you have? What is DP? Jeez, sorry about that. Stop. Also, as uh, posted in Discord, I forgot to mention that, but the uh, I put the Game Republic video on hold for a while uh, due to the fact that my PlayStation 3 uh, started massively overheating during one of the playthroughs that I needed it for. So I'm going to see if I can repair that first before we continue that video. Magic gems invisible to the eye are hidden throughout the dungeons of Fogaya. You can locate them by locking onto them in shooting mode. By shooting these gems, you can release the magic power held inside, restoring some of the party's loss and beat. Basically, always walk around with your gun out. Here comes the big one. Watch out, Dean. Don't get so close to it. Don't worry, I'll show you just how strong these arms really are. The game blasting you ain't lasting. I love that they have different grid setups for, uh, for the fights. 
That is huge. Uh, let's see. Wait, I can still attack? Oh, no, I can't. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Uh I might be able to kill this dude. Begin. But after that I definitely need to heal bury that tile. Snap out of it. There we go. Uh hmm. Codes menacingly. Watch this. Act like a... What's this? That's some decent damage. Here I come. Yes. I this feeling. Oh, okay, so that's why she triggered that specific animation. The that's Watch the uh, critical animation. Uh-oh. Don't die, Rebecca. Mm, that is close. May you sleep peacefully. Do do do. Got him. Got him. If we put our minds to it, victory is assured. Yeah, you better level up after it. Oh, god damn it. One remaining, seriously. Video game, please. All right, let's keep this up. You know, for someone who just got those arms, you sure are handling them well. I never thought I'd see you fight like that. And I never thought I'd hear you compliment me. But actually, it's not just me. I get a weird feeling from these arms, just like with that golem bolt. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, it kind of warms, like with this. It's almost as if they were made for me. You know what I mean? So they make me even stronger. Actually, I have no idea what you're talking about. Avril, what do you think? Hmm, yes, I can understand Dean's feelings. I too feel as though those arms may have been made for him. These were really important to you, right? So I've got to make good use of them. I think you're missing the point. I mean, Dean has only one brain cell. And that is dedicated to gun. What does a fighter badge do? Can I equip that? Oh, this is, oh, this is a bummer. This is a bummer. I don't have the abbreviations. I'll have to look up the manual after this. I'm still very low health, aren't I? Oh, wait, no. Something yield me. Gotcha. Nice.
nice. Thank you, everyone. Okay, both of them leveled up. It seems like leveling up in this game is relatively easy, but also is pretty impactful uh, by comparison. Mm, let's save it up just in case. I mean, yeah, attack is probably attack and stuff, but let's see. Okay, so we have magic. What is DP? And they have defense, resistance, EP. I don't know what that is. Hit percentage, evasion, and reflex. I don't know what those are based on. Dean points. <laughs> Extra DP is now double Dean. Double Dean points. Beautiful. Victory is mine. I really love how snappy the combat is in this. Like it flows really well and it just I, can't lose. People are depending on me. I don't know it's it's just really nice <laughs> have to do with delay oh delay points that's an interesting concept actually uh the power to delay the enemy's turn when attacking okay gotcha And Redamanthos, how's it going? And Grab, how's it going? And what does uh, Reflex... Okay, so take me through this. Um, take me through this, chat. You have Delay Points. Um, which... I don't know how you trigger that, but... Uh, you have the Extend Points, or Evade Points, I don't know. Then you have reflex. What does reflex determine then? As magic is magical power, attack is offensive power or physical. Then you have defensive resistance, so that's defense against physical, defense against magical. Your hit percentage, your evasion percentage, and reflexes. The reflexes is the only thing I, I don't quite get. But we do have a new metal. Right? Reflexes speed, okay. Refrigerator. Prevents reduction of max HP from fallen status. Hey, Avril, can't you remember anything besides Johnny Appleseeds? You know, stuff that's important to you, family members, treasures, nothing like that. And treasures? I can't remember. All I recall are the words Johnny Appleseed. The two objects I gave you are important to me, that much I know. But I cannot tell anything about my family, and I'm not sure what you mean by treasures. Dean, what are treasures? Treasures, huh? <laughs> Well, for me, this golem bolt is my greatest treasure. And then there's the arms you gave me and my picture of Nightburn. The picture? Is the person in this photograph someone important to you? Well, I wouldn't say really say he is what's important to me. Replacement docks is so useful. How come they haven't been DMC8 to Oblivion yet? I think the archiving isn't a problem. Generally, making it available for something that isn't released yet isn't a problem. It's charging money for it. That's when you put yourself in the radar. 
but I do admire him, and so the picture itself is important. It's kind of like a good luck charm, just like the bolt. Don't worry about it, Avril. Dean's idea of a treasure is a little different from everybody else's. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, it means exactly what I said. Besides, normal people don't run around calling everything a treasure. That just makes it harder to protect what's most important for you. You think? I say the more treasures you have, the better. If you have lots of stuff that's important to you, you've got lots of stuff to protect. Doesn't that make you feel really strong? Well, Nintendo is a bit different. Like, like I said, it's it's easier to put yourself on a radar when it comes to uh, charging for like preservation. So Nintendo is actively going out of its way to quote unquote protect its own intellectual properties. Meaning that um, the only thing that is allowed to interact with Nintendo is Nintendo. So that makes it a bit different when it comes to like, but usually the priority of a company to strike down some a project that is purely based on preservation is usually dependent on whether or not they earn money with it. So I'll say you have to pay like a license fee to y utilize the um, utilize something like replacement docks, then you're actively profiting off of uh, someone else's work. I for one trust a game company who has a subscription. I read about that. I read about that. That is really stupid. That is really freaking stupid. Also, got, just a second, gotta close the window. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Joy-Con at all. The Switch as a console is a great concept, but the execution is rather, uh, rather lackluster. To say the least. Like, I think I have like three or four pairs of Joy Cons break on me already, and I usually am not one to easily have stuff break on me when it comes to controllers. Like, uh, my PlayStation 2 controller only died like a year ago, I think. And that was the original one that I got with my release model. And it's kind of, kind of crazy. And then you go to something like the uh, the Joy-Con and it's just every other day there's something wrong. You pick it up after months of not using and suddenly your controllers are all over the place. And the Switch isn't detecting any of them or the char they haven't charged them or anything. It's just kind of bizarre how uh, how poorly that those things are made, like even from a from an engineering standpoint. Um, lot of lots of really uh, fragile ribbon connectors a micro switch system that doesn't quite work because the only place that you can clean it or the only place that you can access it for repairs is on the top and that's where the dust comes in I've probably had more issues with PS2 controllers than any other console, to be fair. I've basically never used my Joy-Cons. I have that as well. I play, I use Xenoblade, I use them for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was like 50 hours of gameplay. Uh, and then I played one more game on the Switch. I think it was Star Ocean. After that, I, I had like 70 hours on the console. After that, I started having issues with my controllers. And the, uh, the rail of the uh, Joy-Con was broken, so it wouldn't charge anymore. Uh, we're talking about how much of a joke the uh, subscription services for Joy-Con repair sold at. How's it going?
but yeah, it's kind of kind of weird uh, to see how um, how problematic the uh, the hardware for the Switch is, and how little uh, the general consumer actually cares at this point. Joyless con. Paying extra for something that's a customer right here with a sham. To be fair, it's worse here. Uh, in the Netherlands, if you uh, send your Joy-Con in, you get the bill afterwards. So you send your Joy-Con in, and then they say to you, like, if you want them back, you have to pay us this amount. And that amount is no, is not disclosed anywhere. Right? So... In theory, they can just say like, "Hey, pay us eighty bucks, and you get your Joy-Con back after sending them uh, sending them away." So you don't have the product anymore, and the bill comes after you send them in. It's really stupid. Hey, diarrhea trap, how's it going? That's kind of fucked up. I heard people having to pay like 450 bucks for repairing a switch. I don't know the state of that, but like there are some stories out there uh, for switch repair in the Benelux. And uh, I sent them a strongly worded legal letter. You're, <laughs> that's 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 not exactly like they probably have some fine print somewhere in the terms of service agreement like they probably have themselves covered for that but yeah you pay like diagnostic fees you pay uh, repair costs and then you pay the uh, sending back of the controller so I think my controller repairs cost me like the cost of a new Joy-Con set. So now I bought them at a company that has an extensive warranty. So my Joy-Cons now are secondhand, but I have like two, three years of warranty on it. So I can just turn them back. And uh, get them replaced pretty easily. Though I will say the, uh, the, the, OLED switch controllers that I'm using right now are pretty stylish. They're pretty swanky. I don't see any Walden Arms. A fusible warranty more like it won't. I mean, you guys offer it. I only make use from it. Use of it. I can't English anymore. Send help. How's it going, Monty Rob? All right, let's continue the game. So are you saying that treasures are the thing that gives you strength? Yeah, that's it, April. Exactly. I see. Treasure sounds like truly wonderful things. I hope that I can find my own treasure someday. Well, that would be the case, but... But Gypsy is, is the manager, so... <laughs> Let's call it in-house warranty. Recently, I have a, bu uh, a bunch of politicians backing a loot box ban. All that has been going on for quite some while, mages. Quite a while, not some while. Jesus Christ. Life is a struggle when you can't speak English. A witch badge a dragon fossil okay what does that do uh... yeah that's an upgrade tool I mean it isn't exactly a problem uh, it's mostly the fact that okay so I can glass cannon mage gotcha the, the, the big problem with the loot box ban is uh, that they will uh, will also not allow uh, any exceptions to the rule because loot box is so broadly defined. 
Look, it's a caravan. Awesome. This is really starting to feel like an adventure now. Dean, would you calm down already? It doesn't look like there's anybody here. I wonder if they got attacked by monsters and fled. Ah, oh, well, too bad. But as soon as we get through this tunnel, we'll be on an all-new continent. I bet we'll run into more caravans over there and other cool things too. I can't wait. I don't know, I'm more nervous than excited, I guess. I mean, it's not like we can just turn around and go back whenever we want to. Are you regretting your decision to leave the village and come with me? It's not really regret, it's just, it's finally starting to sink in that I've left home. I think about mom and dad and realize how far away they are now. I don't feel homesick or anything. Well, I miss Capo Bronco, yes. But I'm way more excited about what's ahead of us. Besides, it's not like I can turn around after getting that nice farewell present from old man Tony. Huh? He gave you a present? When? That's not fair, let me see. Uh, I don't know about that, I wouldn't want to risk losing them or anything. Just kidding. Here, check this out. I don't know what it is, but apparently it's really special. He gave me three of them. What is this? Some kind of gadget? I've never seen anything like it. Is it a piece of a golem or something? Hang on. He gave me a letter with them, too. I found it. Here it is. Huh? Avril, what did you do to it? I feel a warm presence, almost as though something is stirring within me, responding to a call. Yes, this is a medium, a guide through for a journey, at times linking us with the planet, at times strengthening the bonds between us. Sky medium, sea medium, and blank medium. Glay, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. What was that all about? I don't know. But these mediums are important. I felt something resonate inside me when I took hold of it. It looks totally different than it did a moment ago. Now it's, gets, uh, now it's got a soft, beautiful glow on everything. Whatever it is, it sure looks great. And it looks like this letter has instructions on how to use it. Let's take a look. Each character can equip one medium. Doing so increases parameters such as attack and defense, and also allows the character to use the medium's special ability. Each character can earn one's GC points for each level gained. These GC points can be used on the GC graph to learn new original skills and other abilities at an earlier point than usual. GC points can be returned to the character's pool and reallocated at any time. However, for each point used on the GC graph, the character's maximum HP will decrease. So take care not to overuse GC points. If a character's equipped medium is changed, the settings for the previous medium will be retained. Man, old man Tony is the greatest. I never knew he had stuff like this. Yeah, they sure seem useful, but what's Tony's story anyway? He knows a ton about golems. He gives away mediums as presents. He said he used to be a golem engineer, the world's finest. Maybe, but why would a golem engineer come to live in a place like Capo Bronco? That's what I want to know. It's almost as, new as if he knew Ava would appear today, like he planned to give you these mediums all along. Hmm. Why wreck your brain over it? Forget about that, let's get going. That's all you ever say, can't you just at least try to give things some thought every once in a while? That would require a brain. Ah, never mind. I suppose sitting here dwelling on it isn't going to get us anywhere anyway. Sorry for the hold up. Let's equip these mediums and get moving. On a side note, the, uh, the recent trailers for, uh, um, Wow, brain. The recent trailers for Star Ocean, the Divine Force. 
really show a lot more promise, but they have a hell of a, uh... Wait a second, what? Sky medium seem to heal. Okay, there you go. Customize. Uh, but they have, like, this really uncanny Star Ocean face going on. Like, it's really stuck on, uh, till the end of time. It's really, really weird. I'm kind of curious. Only points at slot batch. Okay. Okay, so now we have Blast. Uh, I'm gonna give Averil the healing. I'm just pretending it doesn't exist. You're gonna have a heal trip when we start streaming that. I'm sure of it. Oh. Let's try again, shall we? You had this weird bit where you just... It took me a minute to sink in what you were saying, but... Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Modify arm. Oh. Let's see. Without the magic. There's FP bonus. I'm just going to go with raw attack power. Wait, can I do that for everyone? Yeah, Pal World looks delightfully insane. It kind of depends with uh, Sakuraba. The uh, um, Integrity and Faithlessness OST was kind of mediocre in a lot of ways, so I'm, I'm actually kind of cautious about it. It's a weird franchise to me in the sense that most JRPG fans know of it, but only like uh, really like one game of the series. Should be force points for the gauge and lower. Okay. I don't know. I I really like most of Star Ocean. Um, four is kind of in that weird category of it has some really bizarre weak points, but at the same time, it's also like entertaining enough to get you through all of it. And that's kind of what makes it fun. Prepare yourself. I don't think we even got Lufia one original heal. Okay, so that is spell casting. Like the combat of Star Ocean Four is relentlessly addictive. Right, learning how to blindside and everything is just so much fun to do. But a lot of things in Star Ocean Four are just really weird and insane. Primarily the uh, uh, the combat system, uh, the combat system, the characters, and the story. That hurt. Dean, would you like to try a combo with a team attack? All right. Can I can I stream this? That sounds lewd. In order to use combination arts, first you'll need to have enough FP, and second, both characters performing the combination art must be in the same hex. To see the abilities help text in the force menu for uh, see the ab each ability's help text in the force menu for description of the effects. Mm. Javelin bullet. Oh, sick! Okay, I hope I was that was that was really sick. 
That was really sick. I like it. We should stream Star Ocean 4 at some point. See if it holds up. I remember... Um, I remember being incredibly grateful, though, for the, um, for the option to mute individual characters. It's a shame that Lufia got fully translated, though. It kind of resulted in an abundance of uh, Lufia cards being completely in Dutch. Uh, yes, you just stop playing Final Fantasy X and play some good games instead, Shock. You think that was, uh, you think it was the crash that caused Avril to lose her memory? Yeah, better amnesia came from the shock from fall of falling from such great height. The question is, why did she fall out of the sky in the first place? Avril, do you have any ideas? No, I'm afraid not. But it's possible it was like this even before the incident. Like this? You mean rather than having lost your memories, maybe you never knew anything to begin with? One of these is an android. One of these characters has to be an android. It is possi It is a possibility, is it not? Considering that I know nothing at all? Well, that certainly is one way of looking at things. In that case, we really need to find this Johnny Appleseed, don't we? Heck, I'm starting th I think I'm starting to worry about it more than you. Johnny Appleseed, huh? I wonder what kind of guy he is. Operation Zero Five has proven unsuccessful. The recovery of Avril Van Fleur has apparently failed. What? So where is she now? We followed her progress to W Zero One, but beyond that point, her whereabouts are unknown. Asgard returned with only one arm attached, so presumably. Are you telling me the Ice Queen's awakened? I'm sorry, sir. We've yet to confirm either way. Is that? Damn it! This is not good at all. Wait, is that Liam O'Brien? Bad shape already. If the Ice Queen returns, the world could come to an end. <sighs> but we can't just give up now. We still have some time. Don't be distraught over a few setbacks. There's always a chance. Keep up the search and hope. For the sake of Phil Gaia, she's still Johnny Appleseed when you find her. No slacking off. We've still got work to do. Yes, sir. Understood. Johnny Appleseed. After all this time, asleep for 12,000 years, finally awakened to lead Phil Gaia. It's us or them now. I suppose we'll just have to see who the fates decide to favor. What the hell was that? That other voice sounds familiar as well. Uh, but I gotta take a short break and feed the fish, so I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, chat. Alrighty, I'm back. Took a little bit longer, I had to make some tea for myself. And Tetsuo Kyotoshin, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and thank you all again so much for being here today. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Wild Arms 5. It's a pretty great game so far. Exactly. 
You know, I was really tempted to pick up a copy of our guys uh, back at the RetroCon. Really tempted, but it was pretty, pretty pricey. So I had to leave it for what it was. That reminds me, I need to add some more sounds to it. You guys can mess around with those a little bit more. And don't forget, we're uh, now 91, 92%? 92% into our Saga from Terror Goal. If you guys want to see uh, the playthrough uh, of Loot, one of the uh, leading characters in uh, Saga Frontier, do consider uh, dropping some Kevins on that. playing this game for nearly three hours? What? Wow. It's the most energy I've had <laughs> playing a game on stream for a while. Well, then again, Hell Knight was pretty intense. That finale, man, for Hell Knight, that was, that was, was a doozy. Really had a great time with that game as well. So much fun. That's definitely something that I want to revisit in uh, in the future. Now that I kind of know what kind of game it is. Just kind of put a little bit of extra time into analyzing everything. Having an energetic protagonist helps a bit. Yeah, that's true. Hmm, what if, I, uh, if what I heard back in the village was correct, we should be getting close to the exit soon. Of course, it's always been uh, when we start getting comfortable that really strong monsters suddenly appear. But I can take on anything now, so I say let him come. Uh, I believe they come. Oh, that is a cool monster design. I really like the monster design for this. I gotta say though, whenever I boot up this game, I experience a little bit of pain because you get the the Studio Japan logo at the start. Start, Dean, you idiot! Why'd you have to open your big mouth? Don't worry, I'll protect you both. This sounds like a different tune. 74 damage on that. Damn, we can't even scratch this thing. Relax, Dean. It's probably one of those monsters that's resistant to physical attacks. We'll just have to use magic to kill it instead. Magic attacks, huh? No problem. Original commands require MP to use. Originals have varying types of effects, such as attacking the enemy or healing party members' injuries. See each original's help text for a description on its effects. Attack types original fall into one of two categories, physical attacks or magical attacks, indicated by the icon next to the name as well as the help text. Other originals heal injuries or provide status effects such as increasing defense. Using these originals can turn the tide in battle in your favor. MP can be recovered at safe points and memory birds or by shooting the purple gems hidden within dungeons. Force abilities require FP to use them. So there you go. Attack type force abilities fall into one of two categories, physical attacks or magic attacks, indicated by the icon next to the name as well as the help text. Other force abilities extend the effects of items or originals to all hexes or strengthen, uh, or strengthen attacks, among other effects. See each ability's help text for a description of its effects. FP increases with each action taken by an ally, such as attacking or guarding, and also when allies take damage. FP is reset to zero at the end of each battle. Oh, he is squelching. Shroom down. Okay. Becca's EVA decreased.
All right, we need the javelin bullet for that. Uh, Should I move there? Is that really gonna work? Yeah, 14 damage because I What's have this? the blast. That is much better. He is welching on over there. Jeez. No uh, wow. Okay. Uh, how much does heal do? Take some quiet healing. Okay, that is not healing enough to sustain. That's gonna be a bit dangerous if he keeps doing that. I cannot go on. That is brutal. Miss, nice. Watch this. Drown and die there. Watch yeah, this. I made a pretty big mistake there. Um Yeah, because he's standing on that, that did so much damage. Stick and move. Thank you. Uh oh. Okay. This will cheer you up. I feel wonderful. Begin. At least it's something. What the? Here goes. Go! That is. Proper squelchy, though. Okay, that's not Here too bad. Now never. What the? Here goes. Here it comes. Here's the twister. Please don't kill. I can't fight any longer. Oh crap, that's bad. This I Damn it. Go on. His speed doubled. CFP, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Psyched and ready. Uh, Here I come. Okay, so let's start with. Okay, that's for a tile. Uh, how? Wait, how are we doing here? Oh, he's just weak to every single element. Gotcha. Uh, What if I block him? Can I can I can I maybe block him? I'll move. I should be able to. Here's a little energy. 
What element is blast? Uh, blast is wind. Uh, raffle. Yeah, he's gonna move there and then do the wind thing. Um, wait, I can't body block him there. Here I come. Over there. So his sky twister doesn't get boosted up the wazoo. How much does it do on a single target? Okay, that's doable. What that's next? very manageable. Uh, move. move. Let's do a javelin bullet. Like that? 270 only. Uh, okay, so if I move here, I do have to heal. Let's see, but he what is next? now cornered on this, so I should be able to at least do some damage to him without him being able to, uh, like, lethally harm everyone. No mercy. Oh, if we get a roulette on that and the skill trigger, that's still pretty hefty. Uh, original heal. I'll get you for Try this, you'll get better. Kinda sucks that he keeps targeting him, but Here I come. Yes. Do it again. Aw oh, man. Slow down. Uh Style. Nice. I think it's just the physical attack as well, but don't die. That was excessive. Here mm, I come. That is brutal. What next? Got this though. Um, it doesn't do much, but it's something. Begin. I'm gonna do something Should very dangerous there? here, but I do want to do the extra damage. Oops. Oh. Figure it. Oh, that is not bad. May have doomed them, but that's okay. I cannot go on. What a pain! Gotta stay calm. This magic isn't like the rest. Getting there, chipping away. Oh! 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 Over there? Oh, that is fantastic. Um, let's see if we can get the continuous shot going. Do it again. Oh man, that's fine. Your expectations. Hmm. 
New position. Let's restore ourselves. I feel wonderful. Okay, that is go. good. Move. Uh, I can still do that. Uh, I can do that, so... Gonna heal for now. It's bizarre that he manages to nearly one-shot every single one of these characters. So powerful. Can we continue to shot this? Okay, that's just a global slowdown. Um, I'm gonna heal her and use the force points to uh, move onto that tile. And use this attack. Hope for the continuous shot. Yeah, of course, this guy Twister comes out. Oh, that does significantly less damage, though. I think we got him. really need to remember to lucky card bosses. I really need to remember that. I can't believe you. I'm glad we won, but you shouldn't be wishing for monsters to come out and get us like that. What, are you scared, Rebecca? You can always turn around and go home, you know. Scared? I never said I was scared. I wouldn't even think of going home. Give me a camera and developing room now I'm uh, taking 1940s glamour shots of cows. <laughs> I appreciate that you got a tool and then found something to kind of circumvent everything the game is trying to uh, throw your way. That is amazing. I figured you'd say that. Now come on, let's let's get moving. Okay, so we're now level seven. But okay, my question is though. Uh, wait, that no, was an item. Mm, what if I... Okay, I'm gonna save that for now. Lucky card doubles XP earned from battles. Target all allies. Okay. Uh, medium steam. Customize. Uh... Oh, that is a... That is a dip in HP. Good lord. Uh... Okay, I'm going to leave that for now, as is. significantly oh that might be good if you're a spellcaster though a blast mage if you will At least one of them will Victory be dead. Psyched and ready. Yeah. 
slug him. Prepare yourself. Uh, let's move her there in case I can't kill. That boss taught me a valuable lesson it about grouping to battle, allies together. It? I couldn't move along until I've moved some cows. That's why. Yeah, that gave me the thief badge. Gotta milk this game for all it's got. This game has milk. You'd be surprised to know. Prepare yourself. I'll move. Goodbye. I'm on the road. Blast the rat monkey. Consecutive shot? No. Oh, okay. What next? That's, that's too bad. Time. I'm so glad we got another game where we get consecutive battle, shots. Makes me very happy. Angered the pot. What are we dealing with? Uh, oh, that should be doable. Check something. So normally a blast attack is like a specific non-element. But is, is it based on the ley line that you're on? Shit. Stay. I'll have to check after. Plant Punch. <laughs> That's a great I'm name ready. for an attack. Just punching plants. How how did you do that so fast? Did you just speed run through the majority of Master Rank? Or did you just never stop playing the video game? Hey, Moon and Knight, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. What are you talking about, Dejramar 50? I'm like three. Can you please stop? Can, can you stop playing the video game, please? I need to play catch up. know what that means y'all need to follow twitch.tv forward slash hope to see some high level hunts it is now mandated homework 
There is there's no escaping this. There's only hunts. What's the matter, Averill? The axe is right up there. I'm worried about continuing on this journey. I don't want to cause any trouble for you. This is all a first for us too, Averill. To be honest, I'm a little worried myself. Especially you, Dean. You do know how to behave in front of the Varuni, don't you? The Varuni? You mean those nobles? No problem. I'm not all rude and stuff like you, Rebecca. Whatever. In any case, who knows what'll happen. We might end up causing trouble for you too, Averill. Yeah, we're all in the same boat here, so don't worry, Averill. I just hope you can get your memories back soon. Lazar became Dear. Florida man. Spill blood within mother. What mother refuses her prodigal son? This ship is a mother to me no longer. I owe her no reverence. No remorse when I kill her. That is also a very familiar also, voice. You could have saved us all. You were our seed of hope, blooming in a barren desert. <laughs> Isle Hebert. Holy shit! He is dead! a big sword very star How ocean character fight, my sentinels give me a status report Feridun. how soon until mission completion 5829 golems completely or partially incapacitated estimate 3176 golems remaining total golem annihilation should be expected soon Mission completion estimated in This sector has been secured. I've completely commandeered the security system and all of its golems. Persephone. The disabled golems. Is this your doing? The correct response is thank you. Didn't anyone ever teach you how you're supposed to treat a lady, Faridun? No, I... I'm not interested in... Disarm yourselves and surrender immediately. There is no chance of escape. Forget it, Persephone. But, sir... Our adversary's commander is well set in his ways. He's hardly about to surrender his fleet voluntarily. He's leaving us no choice. We must proceed with our they cause. gave him so many swooshes. <laughs> you can't mean to massacre other Varuni. Oh, ow. Ow. I hit myself with my controller. It's too late. I've already dispatched him. <gasps> Not him. The Reaper! you realize what you're doing is is liam o'brien just background character are you talking to me kill us and you'll die when the ship goes down in flames 
Are you out of your mind? Me? Die? <laughs> How positively entertaining! How? Take I know that, that voice. Who is it? You guys are funny. The only one out there who could possibly stand a chance of killing me is him. Nobody else has got a prayer! Here, let me give you a little taste. <laughs> Close enough. Guys, the, the lot <laughs> was so good. Leave them be for now. We already know their destination. In the meantime, Johnny Appleseed, yes? Understood. That'll be our priority for now. Prepare to receive your orders and pass them on to Cardakea. Yes. Should I share them with Elvis as well? I have other plans for Elvis. Leave him out of this for now. Just do your own part. Understood. This path is mine, and my path alone. There's no there room are many for like moderates. it, but this one's mine. Man, why does the the insane dude's voice sound so familiar? find it. No. No, that is not true. IMDB, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Really? The insane dude is Gaspar? What? What? <laughs> no more, how's it going? Are Wild Arms games connected? No, only loosely in uh, terms of just a overall. Why is my screen so blurry? And Louis and Epsilon, how's it going? Gaspard, uh, a character from Dot Hag Jihu. Somewhere outside Capo Bronco. Well, yeah, of course they do, you moron. And quit staring already. It's embarrassing. Jeez, Dean, you need to get out more often. I told you that wasn't me. How many times do I have to explain? That's this? that's an ass well, we for got a party member. Say they saw you sneaking around the vault yesterday. But I told you it wasn't me in the vault. 
I was following that guy who snuck in and took the mirror. I'm a golem hunter. It's not like I can ignore that kind of thing, you know? Wow, listen to that. That guy's a golem hunter, just like Nightburn. Awesome, the real thing. I never oh, thought I'd no. one. Hey, you over there. Oh, no. Do you think no. you can try and keep it down? <laughs> not that I don't understand how you feel, of course. Oh, no. You say you're a golem hunter, huh? Oh, no. You got a hunter's license to prove it, right? Let's have a look-see. Um, yeah. Of course. It's right... here? Where'd it go? Huh? Uh, how strange. I could have sworn it was... Liar! That <laughs> liar! <laughs> You must be the thief who took the mirror of DeSoto. I didn't, honest. Like I said, a suspicious guy broke into the vault and took out what looked like a mirror. I saw him. So I followed him outside the village and... Aha! That must be where I lost my license. Ha! <laughs> you expect us to believe that? Cut it out! Confess already! Where'd you hide that mirror? Look, I I'll go find the license and show you. Then you'll know I'm telling the truth. Sure we will. Right after you make your escape, right? I don't think so. A hunter would never lie. He's only lost his license, mm. or we'd be looking at it now. Uh -huh. Here we go again. He was like this with stray kittens, too. Who are you? I'm Dean. I'm on a quest to find Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed? <laughs> Don't you think you're a little too young for that, kid? It doesn't matter. It's important. Got it? Whatever. Anyway, this is none of your business, so stay out of it. It is my business. I'm gonna be a golem hunter someday, so I can't let anyone doubt a fellow hunter. Do you hear me? <sighs> He's not a golem hunter. He's a thief, and he's a liar. Hey, you've got a point. I couldn't have said it better myself. On that note, could you do me a favor? See, this town's got a treasure called the Mirror of DeSoto, and obviously somebody stole it yesterday. He managed to slip my tail somewhere outside the village. But unfortunately, I seem to have lost my, uh, you know, my uh, hunter's license out there, too. As you can see, I'm pretty much stuck here for now. You think you could head out and look for that, uh, uh, that license? Why do you keep hesitating? So, is it a hunter's license or isn't it? Yeah, of course it's a hunter's license. It's just... Okay, so we need to find your license, right? Not a problem. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Like I said, it's got to be just outside of town somewhere. His intentions are good, but he's definitely not the brains of the party. <laughs> grief. It sure didn't take long to get sidetracked. Uh, I'm sorry, Rebecca. You too, Avril. No worries. I'm used to it. Sorry about this, Avril. Dean here does this all the time. Oh, I don't mind. Isn't it strange for Dean to be helping someone he's never met before? Mm -mm. Hang around with Dean long enough, you'll get used to it. Quickly. Uh, I see. Oh, please continue the music or bring back that chill tune from earlier. Hey, Couch Potato, how's it going? The music in this is really freaking good. Room the howdy, boy. Seems you've been lo losing this here uh, hunting license of yours. You guys are going to help out that blonde-haired thief. What's up with that? I bet golem hunters' licenses are uh, super valuable, huh? Because they let you ride the trains and stuff. Maybe someone picked it up and was like, Score, I always wanted one of these. 
Yeah, it's just pretending it's theirs. Maybe. But there isn't a good story in that. So you shut your face. Wrath, it does a body good or bad, bad wrath. <laughs> it's, a, it's a vengeful bird. <laughs> I'm counting on you to bring me my, uh, hunter's license as soon as possible. It must have been when I was chasing that guy with a mustache. I stopped by, uh, bleh. I stopped to rest near the station and it probably fell out of my pocket. To reach the station, just follow the elevated tracks north. You can't miss it. I'll get right on that, Liam O'Brien. You know, this song reminds me a lot of Bastion. There's an old busted lock and a, a new, stronger one on top of it. I guess they must have something really important in there. Yeah. You bet your ass. Kit, please don't bug the townspeople. I know you want to act like heroes and save that blonde-haired guy, but interfering in this town's affairs can be extremely dangerous. You need to be more careful. Don't think you'll be immune to the repercussions just because you're kids. I'm just gonna sit here, just enjoy this a little bit. Okay, so there's always a downside to uh, getting certain items uh, or getting those badges. I have 3,000. I my lot. Let's see. Our, uh, twin drive. Round beat. A white blade. Oh, these are tutorials. I'm, I'm gonna get me one of those. I'm gonna get me one of those. I'm gonna get me one of those. Oh, whoops. I am. I'm getting way too many of those. Does go up? I mean, it's not much, but it definitely adds a bit more to it. Battle denim. <laughs> These are my fighter jeans. A little bit of Trigun, a little bit of Gungrave. Ah, oh, dudes, I am definitely getting Gungrave gore. I am so excited for that game. I never would have anticipated that a new Gungrave game would pop up. Let alone on the PS5. Press the square, b press the square button while in the field to search the area around Dean. Any hidden items or treasure chests within the area will become visible. These items cannot be seen until they are first searched, so be sure to look everything. Was that a noose? I think so, yeah. Just take a look around. Let's take a good look around. Let's take a little look-see. There's a stroke of luck! Got a bronze moon. What does a bronze moon do? Oh man, it's unfair how good the music is in this game. 
I should really give uh, Gungrave, the second Gungrave, another chance. Overdose, I think it was called. I got super frustrated the first time around because of the uh, the camera in that. So uh, I just game over. I cannot go on. Psyched and ready. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Run away. I was ready to face some opposition here, but not ready to get my ass handed to me in this regard. Jesus Christ. such a mixed bag gameplay is deeper and less clunky but the level design and plot just feels so much worse yes that's that's pretty much what it boils down to um the problem with uh gungrave is that it does that thing with god hand where it is a um uh, where it is like a set camera point for the um for the camera uh for the character so the character is always within a specific distance from the camera itself. But what God Hand does is it despawns anything in the foreground, so anything that comes in between you and the character, or with it, uh, in between the camera and the character, sort of vanishes temporarily. Gungrave Overdose doesn't do that. It sort of tries to correct itself within small spaces, and a lot of the game is very small spaces. And Sirius Mer. How's it going? Yep. Yep. Out of here would be a great place for hanging around. Yep. Yep, sorry. Waitress is a babe. I want to approach her, but I don't know what kind of things she likes or whatever, even her type. But I'm fine watching her from afar, merely gazing at her every day from morning to night would make me a happy man. It used to be an altar at the northern excavation site. It was constructed a really long time ago. That's where the Mirror of DeSoto was formerly enshrined. When the Varuni destroyed the shrine to dig for golems, everyone was worried they'd be cursed by the gods. And so they took the mirror back to town and enshrined it here. I'll never forgive whoever stole it. It had such a spectacular history. I would have loved to get my hands on it too. My repulse always extends a warm welcome to drifters. You see, this town is full of small-town folk who came here to make money digging up golem parts. It works out well for our employers, too. No one is turned away. That's our motto. So how about you? Did you come here to dig for golem parts, too? I'm sick of the whiskey here, too. I wonder if I should move on to another town. Hey, you look like... No, it can't be. Is that you, Dean? What are you doing in a place like this? How's everyone back home? Is my wife still smoking as uh, smoking hot as ever? I have no idea who you are, good sir. But probably. A level apple. Did I read that correctly?
Yeah, this theme definitely has some Bastion vibes to it. It's pretty good. There's a half-eaten plate of food here. I wonder where the customer went. Apparently all the local oafs are getting into trouble in the town square again. I just can't get out of this horrible town fast enough. I want to go to Lila Bella. Lila Layla Bell. Become some sort of master merchant. With my incredible brains, clearly whatever business endeavor I embark on would be a huge success. In the next big town, we find him on the on the side of the road with a half-eaten apple. These are my rations for this week. I better be careful not to waste them. It's going to be a big problem if we don't get that mirror to, uh, to soda back before the cer uh, moon moonlight ceremony. Is there's a speed run of this game that involves duplicating these level apples to max out your team and just run through the rest of the game? Pretty much. And this is on dude, and besides this blondie is an outsider. Who else could be the culprit here? This is an available username. Might be the culprit. This is an available username. Thank you so much for eight months of support. Really freaking appreciate it, dude. Can I get some Kevin's and Richards in chat, please? Thank you so much, man. How are you doing? Everyone in this town was terrified of them. There's no way any of the locals would dare to steal something like that. Yeah, so where do I go with this? I wonder if this is going to be a similar scenario. Stay calm. Okay, this isn't too bad. Oh, they're packing up! Prepare you yourself. fools! Please continue with Sean. Ow. Which other one uses the hex system? Is that the four that uses it? Thank you, everyone. Oh wow, that's almost an entire level. Good lord. That wasn't for. I need to play for. We need to play the rest of Wild Arms. This is really good. Let's keep going. You mean next up? God, the animations are so lively. Okay, that was only 66. More, more. Watch 
out for falling rocks! I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. We'll see, I guess. Wow. Did that not affect you? Psyched and ready! Okay, it's weak to... That's not too bad. I'm ready. That's a relief. Here we go. Stick and move. Let's see if we can do a lot of damage with this one. Whoa, that is a lot Whatever more. Jeez, elemental damage is uh, pretty good, huh? Does that extend to everyone? I wonder. Uh, can I travel on a bullet? I really like how big the numbers get in this game, though. Ha, got you now. Become death. How do I? Smell good food, chat. How much do I get? Two hundred and twenty two. There you go. That's a good level up. That is a good level up. I'll take it. I don't even know if I have to go here. No, because I've already been here. What am I supposed to do then? All right. Blam. What next? I'll move. I really appreciate how freaking smooth I'm this game plays, though. Perhaps another time. It gets very easy to understand, it's very easy to get into, and it's just a very enjoyable experience. Oh, that's a new force attack. Gotcha. Ha, gotcha now. <laughs> Show you. Okay, let's see. That exit to the field thing is, uh, also pretty dot hack, I like it. 
I really enjoyed uh, Wild Arms 1, the original, when I grew up. Uh, I played a bit of 3 when I was younger, but I never really finished a lot of the series. Like, I think the first game that I really gave a try of the series was Alter Code F. And that was at a friend's house. Mm. Just a quick second, chat. I have received a blue nutrition. And it smells delicious. Near the station, I probably fell out of my pocket. Just follow the elevated tracks north. You can't miss it. Do I need to be outside of the town for that? I think I do. So what has everybody been playing recently? All of the elevated tracks north. I wonder if these are the elevated tracks he means. That sure looks like a station, though. Been messing with a few Steam Soul games, like, uh, namely Star Renegades and Missia's Izakaya, a total themed cooking game. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Oh, hello. Uh, any of you cluster together, perchance? Chills Legendia, nice. Still trying to play FF7R, but it still doesn't catch me after six hours of gameplay? Yeah, that's fair. Please continue with Sean. Played a little indie RPGs this weekend. Uh, Frank and Megaman Sprite game, Everhood. Nice! Oh, that sounds cozy. time so I've been slowly going through the Adelaide Ariza games uh, gonna dive into some break as soon as my schedule is free and frees up though that is entirely fair how are you liking Ryza so far Oh, this is adorable. I, I really like this overworld. No. No fucking way that you're still up. No fucking way that that's Rudy.
That is insane. From what I understand, Adelaide Ryza is a lot more JRPG in comparison to the uh, to the older ones. I hear there's been all kinds of trouble going on in and around my repulse these last few days. I came here because I wanted to see the Moonlight Ceremony, which the people of My Repulse hold every full moon. Maybe it'd be a good idea to lay low for a little while instead. That has to be him. That has to be him. Doesn't it? A moment of your time, you appear to be a talented band of young heroes. Will you listen to my troubles? Thank you, I'm in your debt. Uh, the black suns dotting the land of Fogaya. These suns were once ley points, each a fountain of great power that flows deep within our planet. But if Fogaya reduced to this wasteland, we can state that it has lost the power to purify itself. How is Wild Arms 5 treating you? Uh, I can't repeat it, but it's it's literally Black Sun. Username. It's translated from Latin. Food is really good, though, Gypsy. Hey, Loss, how's it going? Uh, it's really good so far. I really like it. That is a choice they made. I, I was kind of taken aback by it as well. Today, the lay points have been corrupted, possessed by monsters taken to power for their own ends. If this continues, the balance of power in Fogai will collapse again to the point of no return. You can doubtless see uh, signs of this happening already. I ask you to go and purify the Black Suns uh, by fighting the monsters that have possessed them. This would normally be my calling, but I was injured in a recent battle. I can no longer move freely on my own. Mm, to involve an instant bystander in my quest, but please, I have no one but to choice but to rely on you. May not be allowed um, on train, but we still look for uh, for free, and I will look rain and shine. It is all fleeting, mon ami. Soon I must take my leave, you see, for they are coming soon. Yeah, just fucking Rudy right here. It's just general Latin. Gekizembu. No stopping us now. Do, 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 do. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go here. I think she is from Wild Arms 4. Her design looks very Wild Arms 4 to me. Hey Natalie, how's it going? Ugh. Stay calm. Can't we fight someone with a little more bite?
now that I think about it, though, the um, monsters that you fight in the Corrupted Ley Lines are alchemical symbols, if I recall. Is there, like, a point where I need to go? I, I genuinely don't know where to go for this. Symbolize varying concepts, uh, much like sun and astrology, you can respond to. lot to read about but yeah they do <laughs> might be bad. Yeah, this could be very bad. Prepare yourself. We played Wild Arms 1 on stream a couple of years ago. How's it going, Greer? Psyched and ready. Mm, this should kill the lot there. Yeah. Or at least damage them to a point where it will actually hurt them. Um Stay calm. Oh I've gone. Oh. I'm just fun. Prepare yourself. Here we go! We're getting, uh, we're getting the new Arkham expansions in the, uh, in the late morning. I'm down for that. <clears throat> but wasn't that the station that I was just at? Wait, uh-huh. It said follow the high tracks north. Is that the tr mm hmm? Let's just follow this. Oh, I'm very excited for that. Me and Gypsy recently got hooked on the uh, Arkham Horror card game. 
and uh, now have the uh, expansion coming in. Very excited. Attack would be more efficient there. This. Damn it. This is it. Got two out of the equation. Nice. What the hell happened to combat? It's pretty fun, actually. It looks really confusing at the start, but basically you have a certain amount of uh, hexes that are connected to one another. You can use part of your turn to move around. Like this. And you can attack adjacent uh, hexes. So movement becomes a big option in this game. Kind of like a board game, yeah. But it feels very snappy and smooth. It may look a little bit cumbersome from a uh, viewer perspective, but it, it actually flows really well. Pretty much. What's your opinion on the characters so far? I really like them. It's a Hex of Bell system. A. I really like them. Dean is an idiot, but a lovable idiot. And, um, what's her face? Rebecca is, uh, is a very good, um, support to that. Oh jeez, that is a lot of damage. Prepare yourself. I'm not playing around. Hey Dub, how's it going? I really like the cast of Modern Arms 3. The Wild Arms 3 cast is really good. But I do have to say I really like this cast as well. It might be a bit overbearing with how enthusiastic Yuri Lowenthal plays it. Like, there are a lot of, like, really small voice clips of him just doing the enthusiastic screaming noises. But, I don't know, it's... I'm really enjoying the game so far, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Here's a little energy. I really like the hex system as well, so playing it is just a delight. The bead golem hunter, believe it. The only thing I didn't like about Wand Arms 3 was the way that it looks. The cell shading with a harsh outline is just a bit too much for me. I don't know. I always had this very weird relationship with Wild Arms of having phases of my life that I really couldn't get into it, and then the phases of my life where it devours something like that. Here, this this has to be freaking Rudy.
I heard he was in neon white. Bless you, Gypsy. Phew, I needed a breather. I have to prefer that it got out uh, um, a bit out of Wild Arms 3. It felt too long for my liking. Also not the biggest fan of having to scan the overworld to find everything. Game was really good otherwise. I really need to, uh, from what I'm hearing right now is, uh, hey, Gil, could you please, uh, play, uh, uh, Wild Arms 3 on the stream? To which I say, chat, you got it. Oh, two bloodhounds. This is a big, good lord. A multi shot. Sad. should love but each one I tried I end up not enjoying oh that sucks dude maybe you can live a bit vicariously through the stream what next Heard this one is full of references to the older games. Well, we just met Rudy and one of the characters, one of the characters from the other game. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yep, it's canon. So we just got Wild Arms 1 and 2. So I don't quite believe that um, Dean looking quite similar to Rudy is uh, unintentional. Gotcha! Double shot? No. Victory is mine. Look how smooth and snappy that went. But generally, all the characters look fantastic in this. I'm really having a good time with it so far. Let's see, mm, that is a good setup. Take it. Double shot. Man. It's a good suggestion so far. I've been really having a lot of fun with it. Incorrect. That was excessive. 
Here we go. Yep. Everyone has uh, force abilities in this. Overhead sorcery. There you go. That was incredible. Should be close. I think I'm gonna save it up and call it a day, chat. I'm uh, still getting my ass kicked by ye old C19, so. I'm gonna take it easy for a bit. But thank you so much for hanging out. I really freaking appreciate it. Wild Arms 5 has been an incredible amount of fun. I've really enjoyed this. So thank you all so much for the su suggestion. Wow, can't speak. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the stream as well. If you're new to the channel and uh, had a good time, do consider hitting a follow button. And an extra special shout outs to Nav who does nothing for the raid. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And to uh, hope, and this is an available username for the subs. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, yeah, I'm going to find somebody to host up and uh, hopefully see you guys soon. Uh, I'll try to be back on Wednesday. I don't know how things are going to go from here on out. Um, like I might get pretty sick, but so far it's been all right just mostly fatiguing um but if i'll be back on wednesday we'll continue uh wild arms and then uh once hello noah drops on thursday i'm probably gonna see if i can cram in some extra streams uh if if i am up and about to play that so well no i should arrive on thursday but i don't know when so we'll have to keep an eye on that thank you so much for hanging out really freaking appreciate it and uh Exactly. Until then, stay beautiful, keep on gaming, dudes. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.